Hello there, and welcome back to my guide to writing your memoir in 2021. This is Patricia Lucia, author of Wildflowers and Present Tenses, a memoir. And I'm putting together a step-by-step -step way for you to do the same in 2021. So this video covers step two, your word count. Now, the reason why I am going to go into word count, that is because we are bringing your project into existence. So it begins with a commitment, and then we begin to give it form so that we can make it tangible. So many times people want to write a book, but it stays in the idea form. So my step-by-step -step process will help you move it from the idea form into the physical form. So that means we're going to take steps to bring it into existence before you even write your first word. How cool is that? So word count. A few words about word count. Um, word count is a big part of putting together a book. You're, if you Google it, you'll see that um, short stories are classified as uh, pieces of writing between 1,000 and 8,000 words, um, novellas, 20,000 uh, words generally to 40 perhaps, but we're talking about your first book. Let's say this is your first book. It's a memoir. I want to make it as doable as possible. My memoir ended up being about 38,000 words. That doesn't seem very lengthy, but for those of you who have seen it, this is what it looks like. You see, it's actually quite a nice size. It's a respectable size. Now, putting together a word count is important in that it is going to set our goals. I want to just show you a little bit about what word counts have translate into. So my word count was about 38,000 words and I have, this is a five by eight book and I ended up with 181 pages. Now, but even um, Joy Harrow, who I adore, she put out her memoir. And this is a slightly bigger, but notice it's pretty thin. And her memoir, I believe, is 169 pages. All right, so this may have a word count smaller than mine, but it doesn't matter. It's packed with beautiful, beautiful words and language. And Lamott who is kind of famous for showing people how to do this sort of writing. I suggest if you haven't read her book, Bird by Bird, it's really wonderful. She writes about writing, so it's a great resource. Her book is 222 words, so not that much more. All right, so this is probably between 50 and 60,000 words. All right, this is what I suggest. I suggest you set a goal for 40,000 words. Respectable, it's probably gonna get you, you know, close to 200 pages, and to be honest with you, that's enough. It's, it's readable, people pick it up and they'll be able to read it in a weekend or in a week, depending on their schedule, and, and you want that. You want people to be able to read it in, uh, you know, in a short amount of time. They go on vacation, they read your book, they go away for a weekend, they read your book. You want people to be able to read your book in a, in a few settings and then uh, put it down and call you up or text you and say, wow, that was awesome. Thank you. Let's say you are setting your goal for 40,000 words. The reason why this is so valuable is because now we can break that up. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a timeline. So if you set your goal for 40,000 words, you know you're going to have about 200 pages, which is respectable. So that's what you want. Between 175 and 200 pages, you've got a respectable first book. It's a memoir. It's going to be awesome. The 
wonderful thing about setting up your goal of 40,000 words is now you can say, how many words do I need to write every month to make that happen? And so how many words do I need to write every week to make that happen? And if we're setting a goal to get this done in 2021, I'm going to tell you that you have seven months to do your writing. The rest of the time is going to be other things, and we'll get into that later. But let's say you have seven months to write 40,000 words. That comes out to 5,700 words a month. Okay, so 5,700 words a month. That is not difficult. What that comes out to is 1,420 words a week. You know, if you've written papers <laughs> for college or for high school, you know that that is very doable to get to that word count. And really, if you want to break it down to by the day, let's say you're only going to write six days a week. Let's say you're going to take a day off. You're not going to write. That's 238 words a day. Very, very doable. And honestly, what I would do is I would set my weekly goal and keep track of it. And you can keep track of how many words you're writing a day or how many words you're writing in a week. And if you are maintaining that uh, 1400 to 1500 words in a week, then you are on target. So the importance of the word count is to really help you now bring your book into existence. So now we know it's going to be about 40,000 words. We know that that's going to give us about 200 pages, very respectable, um, so, you know, between 180 and 200 pages, very respectable size book. We also know that if you're going to dedicate seven months to the writing of your book, then you are going to need to write about 5,700 words a month. Break that down to week. That's 1,400 to 1,500 words a week. And if you break it down to the day, it's 240 words a day. Very, very doable. So that's it for the word count. That's what I'm going to, that's how much I'm going to say. There's so much more um, to say, but what I'd really like you to do is set your word count. If you want to do less, fine. If you want to do more, fine. One of the things about this word count is if you have 40,000 words that you are going to be writing, and that is going to be broken up into, say, um, chapters, or which we will call stories. We'll call the stories of your life. If you divide 40,000 uh, words by, say, let's say you're going to write, let's say your book is going to have 12 stories. So what you can begin to do then, <laughs> I'm going to use my calculator. What you're going to begin to do is you're going to start doing a little math. So 40,000 um, divided by 12, your 12 stories or your 12 chapters. Each one then needs to be about 3,300 words. That's completely doable. Let's say you want more. Let's say you've got a lot of, lot of different stories you want to write. Let's say you want to do 15 stories or what you call chapters, stories, chapters, then you're going to divide the 40,000. So each story is going to average about 2,600 words. Very, very doable. So you see how once we set a word count, then we can begin to conceptualize what this memoir is going to look like. It's going to have a series of stories, probably in chronological order, that there'll be your chapters or your stories. And depending on how many you have, you can estimate about how many words they will be. And we'll get to that in my next video, um, which is really about setting your timeline. That's going to be a lot of fun. And we'll take a closer look at um, your, you know, the stories and how to determine how many stories you have in your memoir. So for now, you're going to set your word count. In the meantime, here's your homework. Play around with the 40,000 word count. Divide it up into the number of stories you think you want to write and do some math. 
in doing so, you are continuing to bring your book into existence. The second piece of homework for you is to think about and begin to list perhaps on paper or in your mind, all of the moments or the memories of your life that you think you want to write about significant moments, even, even if it's a moment that was, it was really memorable, but you're not sure if you can actually make it into a story. You just know it was a memorable moment. Write those down, make a list, see how many you have. You may have 20, you may only have 10, that's okay. But start thinking about the list of moments that you would like to share with your reader, even if there are moments that were memorable, even traumatic, that you're not sure you want to share with your reader, write them down, because we're going to talk about those moments too. Those moments, as painful as they might be to write, end up being writer's gold. We'll talk about that in my next video. Until then, play around with your word count, do a little math, bring that into existence, start thinking about those moments in your life that you want to write into story. Mm -hmm.